Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers, it's time for another joy of unboxing and today we've got something very thematic, very atmospheric, big trouble in Little China, the game. This is by Everything Epic, they very kindly sent me a copy of this to check out and it looks great. It's based on the 1986 fantasy adventure martial arts film by John Carpenter, bit of a classic, Kurt Russell in the lead. Um, and this it doesn't get more thematic than this, does it? Really, it's got miniatures, it's got big board of Chinatown and the underground places and things to fight. And oh, it looks like so much fun! Big square box, it looks great. So, let's check it out. Take off that shrink wrap. And here we go. Great cover, by the way. Fantastic illustration. So, what have we got here? Thank you for purchasing Big Trouble in Little China, the game. Well, thank you. Uh, this is great. Our goal is to make something special. Isn't that fantastic? A little personalised message. Really nice. A little misprint. Oh, well. But it's really nice to uh, get that personal message from the makers of the game. Here's the rule book. Oh, it's quite thick. Look at that, it's uh, what, 40 pages. Let's have a look through. I don't actually remember this film too well. I've seen it a couple of times, but it's been a while since I saw it. And I don't have it on DVD or anything, but I must check it out again before I play this game so I'm fully immersed in the background. That looks quite involved, doesn't it? There's quite a lot here. Da -da, da -da. Wow. There you go. Hmm. What it needs is a rule summary. Okay, I've got lots of dice. Lots of dice. Wow, look at all these. Oh, lots of special dice. Beautiful. And in fact, when I got the box, there were also these ones as well. The other extra ones. So, yep, lots of dice there. What have we got here? Demon Bride. Um, some other games that Everything Epic are bringing out soon. They're doing a Rambo board game soon. Metal Dawn, Comb Award. Mmm, all kinds of interesting things. Up and coming company, for sure. This is the Quest Book. And look at that. Wow, there's so much in this game. Look at all that stuff. Very interesting. We've got some, uh, these look like, what are these? Cyber bitch must pay. Oh, here we have some player aids. Normal versus epic dice actions. Mm -hmm. yeah, so these might be uh, related to those uh, quests. But, uh, that looks good. What's going on there? Uh, some more cards, I'll check those out in a moment. Some little plastic pegs. That's one little insert, which is great. And then here's the cardboard. And there's quite a lot of cardboard. Feet track. Some stuff here. Oh, low pan. That's the you know, low pan. The evil sorcerer. Pieces. Gee, the quality is really impressive. Great illustration work. And then our characters Egg Shen, Margot Litzenberger, Gracie Law, Jack Burton. Oh, this is a nice touch. Look. Oh, isn't this great? This is really impressive. Not only do you have a plastic insert molded to fit all the miniatures that come in the game. But there's a sheet showing you where they all go. That is really thoughtful. I'm really impressed by that. And look at this great insert. This is one of those rare occasions where I won't have to do anything special because the insert is so good. And I noticed that the figures just slide in and out quite nicely. There's just enough grip there to keep them in place, but not too much to make it hard to get them out. Very, very nice indeed. I'm very impressed with that. Here's the board. I'll just unfold this. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's 
stick with me, I'm working it out. Wow, what a board. I just have to bring this back a bit so you can see the whole thing. Look at that! That is pretty amazing stuff. Great artwork. And is it double sided? Yes, it is double sided. Oh. Look at this. This is a pretty amazing package. I don't know why I didn't come across this game before. I knew it had come out, but I didn't realise it was so beautifully made. Very impressive. Wow, let's have a look at these cards. Okay, here are all our cards. Uh, here we've got some side quest cards. So lots of interesting story things there. Oh, I'm really dying to play this game. It looks like great fun. Got those. We've got some minions. Different difficulty levels, it looks like. Again, great art throughout. What is that? Bizarre guardian thing. There we go. We've got big trouble cards. Great stuff. These are showdown slash quest cards. Gee. These are special slash co-op ability cards. It's all in the reflexes. We've got some upgrade cards. Some reward cards. Nice quality cards too. And finally, Hell Cards. <laughs> it's that Hell of Halitosis. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's have a look at all the miniatures you get. There's all various types of thugs and creatures to fight in the game. All the things you'll recognise from the film, of course. And uh, they're nice figures. They're on large, steady bases. These are our heroes, of course. There's Jack. Some of the bad guys. I remember this guy from the film. And some kind of weird kind of ape-like thing. Nice miniatures! And as you can see, you get quite a lot in the box. Well, there you have it, my friends. Big trouble in Little China, the game. And wow, what an impressive package. It's a big, deep box full of stuff. And all of these miniatures. Wow, there's just so many miniatures. I think this is going to be great. The board's beautiful, the card's beautiful. It looks like uh, there's quite a lot to it, so it's quite involved. S certainly, if you're in any way a fan of this uh, movie, it's a no-brainer, but I think for any fans of thematic adventure games, this is a no-brainer as well. So, Big Trouble in Little China from Everything Epic. Thanks very much for watching. That's the Esoteric Order of Gamers, orderofgamers.com. See you there.